So, DJI remains at the forefront with its upcoming releases, the DJI Avatar 3 and Neo 2. Both drones cater to distinct audiences, but their rumored specs have sparked debates among creators and hobbyists about which model offers better value. While the DJI Avatar 3 targets FPV enthusiasts and professional filmmakers, the DJI Neo 2 aims to redefine portability for travelers and casual users. This video breaks down their features, pricing, and ideal use cases to help you decide which drone aligns with your creative goals. Firstly, DJI Avatar 3 and Neo 2 prioritize different design principles. The Avatar 3, following its predecessor's legacy, is expected to retain a compact yet rugged frame optimized for high-speed agility. Early leaks suggest it will maintain a foldable design for travel convenience, but with reinforced hinges to withstand crashes during daring FPV flights. Weighing slightly more than the Avatar 2, which clocked in at 410 grams, it may trade a bit of portability for advanced hardware like a hybrid stabilization system and omnidirectional sensors. In contrast, the DJI Neo 2 is rumored to stay true to its ultra-lightweight roots. The original Neo weighed just 135 grams, and its successor could push this further with refined aerodynamics. This palm-sized drone is designed for creators who prioritize mobility. Think hikers, vloggers, or travelers needing a device that slips into a jacket pocket. While both drones are portable, the Neo 2's Featherlight build gives it an edge for on-the-go use, whereas the Avatar 3's sturdier frame supports its FPV-oriented performance. The camera systems of these drones highlight their divergent purposes. The Avatar 3 is rumored to feature a 1-inch CMOS sensor, a significant upgrade from the Avatar 2's 1-1.3-inch chip. This larger sensor promises superior low-light performance, reduced noise, and improved dynamic range, critical for filmmakers capturing sunsets, nightscapes, or high-contrast scenes. Additionally, leaks suggest the DJI Avatar 3 could introduce RAW video recording, a first for DJI's FPV lineup. RAW support would grant professionals greater flexibility in post-production, enabling precise color grading and detail recovery. The Neo 2, meanwhile, is expected to leap from a half-inch to a one-inch sensor as well, matching the Avatar 3 in sensor size, but targeting a different audience. While both drones may share this hardware, their software and stabilization approaches differ. The Avatar 3's rumored hybrid stabilization aims to eliminate shakes during aggressive flips and dives, making it ideal for action shots. The DJI Neo 2, lacking a mechanical gimbal, will likely rely on upgraded EIS algorithms and AI-driven software to stabilize footage, a practical solution for casual users filming smooth travel clips or follow-me sequences. Resolution and frame rates also diverge. The Avatar 3 is expected to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second or higher, while the Neo 2 might cap at 4K 60 frames per second, but with a focus on computational features like AI tracking and automated quickshot modes. For creators prioritizing cinematic flexibility, the Avatar 3's raw capability and stabilization system are unmatched. For everyday content, the Neo 2's balance of quality and simplicity could suffice. FPV drones like the Avatar 3 thrive on speed and responsiveness. Rumors suggest it will surpass the Avatar 2's 30 meters per second top speed, potentially reaching 35 meters per second thanks to upgraded motors and aerodynamic propellers. Combined with DJI's refined motion controller, this agility allows pilots to execute sharp turns, dives, and freestyle tricks with precision. The Avatar 3's O4 transmission system could also extend its range beyond 10 kilometers, providing a clearer low-latency live feed, essential for long-range exploration or racing. The Neo 2, however, isn't built for speed. Its focus is stability and ease of use. With a rumored top speed of 12 to 15 meters per second, it's designed for smooth, controlled flights. The Neo 2's appeal lies in automated features like ActiveTrack 5.0 for subject tracking and waypoint navigation for pre-mapped routes. 
these tools cater to beginners or solo creators who lack piloting expertise but still want dynamic aerial footage. Battery life further underscores their differences. The Avatar 3 is rumored to achieve 30 minutes of flight time, up from the Avatar 2's 23 minutes, thanks to energy-efficient components. The Neo 2 could see a smaller jump, from 18 to 22 to 25 minutes, aligning it with competitors in the sub-250 gram category. While both improvements are notable, the Avatar 3's extra airtime benefits professionals capturing complex sequences, whereas the Neo 2's boost suits shorter, casual sessions. Safety. Innovations are critical for both models but tailored to their audiences. The Avatar 3 is expected to debut omnidirectional obstacle sensing, using cameras and infrared sensors to map its surroundings in 360 degrees. This system, paired with haptic feedback alerts in the controller, would allow pilots to navigate dense environments like forests or urban areas confidently. For FPV flyers, who often operate at high speeds in tight spaces, this could drastically reduce crash risks. The NEO 2 might also introduce omnidirectional avoidance, a leap from the original NEO's basic downward and backward sensors. However, its implementation would prioritize simplicity. Think AI-powered object recognition that automatically adjusts flight paths during automated modes like Follow Me or Orbit. While less customizable than the Avatar 3 system, this approach lowers the learning curve for casual users. DJI's pricing strategy reflects each drone's target demographic. The Avatar 3 is rumored to cost between $1,299 and $1,399, a 10 to 15% increase over the Avatar 2. This premium buys pro-grade tools like raw recording, hybrid stabilization, and extended flight time features that could replace pricier cinema drone setups for some creators. The Neo 2, meanwhile, is expected to stay budget-friendly, retailing between $450 and $550. While this positions it above the original Neo, its 1-inch sensor and obstacle avoidance justify the bump. For travelers or vloggers, the Neo 2 offers a compelling mix of quality and portability without breaking the bank. Choose the DJI Avatar 3, if you prioritize cinematic quality, post-production flexibility, and engage in FPV freestyle flying or high-speed cinematography, especially in complex environments where advanced safety features are essential, and you're willing to invest over $1,300 for professional-grade tools. On the other hand, opt for the DJI Neo 2 if you value ultra-portability, ease of use, and prefer creating content on the go, such as travel vlogs or casual aerial shots with a preference for automated flight modes and a budget-friendly price under $600. The DJI Avatar 3 and Neo 2 represent DJI's dual commitment to pushing boundaries in both high-performance and accessible drone categories. The Avatar 3's rumored upgrades position it as a powerhouse for FPV enthusiasts and indie filmmakers, while the Neo 2's refinements make it an ideal travel companion for hassle-free creativity. Your choice ultimately hinges on whether you prioritize raw cinematic power or everyday versatility, and how much you're willing to invest in your aerial toolkit. For now, we'll just have to wait for both of these drones to announce first. Thanks for watching.